How's that takeaway? It's good. It's really good. You're doing a good job. And then I just go right there. Yeah. Yeah, these are much better swings, Billy. Yeah. Um, takeaway, or set, I'm sorry, setup reminders, right? Just, you know, one thing I focus on, insteps to the outsides of shoulders. I really like seeing the pelvis really posted up just an inch back this way. You know, really the trail hip moving with that. See, when I do that, it keeps, keeps my pelvis nice and square, hips square, knees square. And really what that does, it gets that spine angle back a little bit so it's easy to turn behind the golf ball, right? Yeah. Those two things are just really important. So in steps outside, pelvis right, and then right there, just the ball position, just right, running right along the inside, right on the outside of the shoulder, and you're, you're all set to go. But those little simple reminders with the setup are huge. I like my players really standing up tall every once in a while and not always looking down and see, because angles can change. Just standing right. up, you know, just standing straight ahead, then just going through it, and then just right down. You can feel really straight that way. The reason I mentioned that is before Gabe, before he started filming, Billy was just what doing what many, 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 many great players do. They just face the ball with the upper body. Does that make sense, by yeah. the way? Yeah, I mean, yeah. think about it. Like, your guys, the, the right arm reaches so much farther because it's, you know, if I'm just praying and have my hands together, yeah, my shoulders would be square. But my hand goes that way to get the grip. Okay, my shoulder's open. Now I have a ball position that's way in the front. Oh, very easy to have everything face the golf ball. So it's important you face the center of your stance and reach up to the golf ball. That's a big one, big one for, play, for, uh, for people. See that a lot though, you know, and what happens to people when they do that is like the little fuzzy right here. Tom, the little fuzzy right here would be pointed over there. Like you're already cutting your turn short, you know, and the arms immediately right. get behind you and then it just becomes, you know, just you're almost out in front of it before it ever began. Yep. And it, it becomes a big block right. A lot of times a shoulder, you know, if you catch up to it, ball just leaves directly down the shoulder line, which is open. Um, so that's a lot of times why you'll see people be crisscross with alignment with driver. Uh, where a wedge is a little easier. It's just right here in the middle, and there was the answer, just boom. But then all of a sudden, that ball that's up there crisscrosses the lines, okay? Leads to a lot of cuts, that, that setup. Big cuts. Pulls. Yeah. Setting up to it for a lot of people. So up up there, yeah. I, and see, I'm the opposite, and I will tell you why. The reason being is because I'm so used to milling my sternum face the middle of my stance, you know, so it's like if there's a laser pointer pointed off where his chest is, it should be pointed right back, like pretty much the back of the club head. There it is. Yeah, that's beautiful. Keeps really good width. Doing good, Bill. Thanks, bro. Yeah, we're going to have to, um, yeah, and, you know, the best way to work on a driver is always obviously on the golf course. That's yeah. the easiest way to be able to see it. Let me think. It's getting much better, buddy. Mm -hmm. much better yeah job thank you guys so much for watching our video any questions or comments you have please leave them below also click the link below to pick up three free videos we appreciate you guys enjoy our channel